Hey all, welcome back. Right, this is part six of the bathroom renovation. Yeah, I know I'm milking this one a bit, but it's, I've never done it before. It's a bit tricky figuring out everything that I need to do. So from the last video, what I've done is I've sorted out the waste pipe situation. Uh, so the bath is now fully usable. I've had it filled up, left it overnight, made sure that there's no leaks on drainage or anything like that, which all that's spot on now. I've siliconed all down around the bath and has pushed it down as far as I can in any gaps, uh, make it a bit more watertight. And that's pretty much all I've done. So in this one, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting back aboard this stuff on this wall and at the back of me here, I've still got to put this this section on properly because if you remember, all this one is screwed to wood. That I've just screwed it to the uh, breeze block wall. So I need to take this off and put tile adhesive on and then screw it back in place. And I need to do the same with that wall and this one. Because my plan is I want to get that wall and this back wall tiled so I can then fit the shower and put the shower screen on. That means we can at least use the shower and uh, this section will pretty much be done then. So yeah, let's uh, crack on and make a start on this wall. Right, so that's them cut and screwed on. Uh, I've only put like one or two screws in them, just to hold them in place for now. Uh, so I need to mix up some uh, tile adhesive stuff, get that spread on walls and uh, then screw them on permanently. Right, it's so the next day, these are on now permanently, um, but I've changed my mind. What I'm going to do is I'm going to alter this pipe work here that runs across and under the toilet. Uh, I'm going to try and get these so that they can run under the floor and just have like your hot and cold sticking up out of the floor there and then your water for here. I've just uncoupled the toilet and it's actually not fixed down so i'm going to slide that out of the way i'm going to get rid of the last bit of stuff on the wall um, and hopefully be able to figure out where i need the pipe coming up i'm going to have a look at the new toilet see where the inlet for the water which side it's at and then i can kind of figure out how to go about laying the water pipe for that so uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do next. Right, that is the new pipe work fitted. Uh, there were pieces of wood missing from there anyway, so what I'm going to do is just 
put the backer board over it. I've not had to chisel out any of the uh, the beams to set it down. Uh, as you can see, they are like well, they will be under the floor now. Uh, this side, I've altered it. I've put it to that side because that is where the uh, inlet to the toilet is going to be. So hopefully, I can just get a short flexi pipe or something on that. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, the pipe work laid. I'm going to put a piece of this uh, board on the floor. Just uh, well, I'm just going to put it on the floor. I'll probably drill an hole for it to fit over that, and then I can put the toilet back uh, so we can still keep using it. That way, I can cut out for all the rest of the floor, and I know that that piece is ready for adhesive when that when the time comes uh, so yeah I'll get a piece put on the and I put toilet back and then I want to make a wooden frame around the front of the air uh, if you remember on previous video I, I did like a, a frame all the way around it what it sat on well I want to continue that across the front and also across the floor and round and then uh, when I make the uh, bath panel, I can use that then to screw it to. Right, that's the toilet back in place. That's just placed down. Um, but now I can work out where all the rest of it is going to fit but first I need to just quickly make that frame round here so I'll stick you on a quick time lapse again while I just knock that out Right, so I've ended up cutting the rest of the floor boards out, so they're all just in place, they're not fixed down or anything yet. I've still got to uh, trim this section to length. Uh, I'm just having a look at what kind of transition plates you can get for knowing whereabouts to cut that. Uh, I've cut this one out uh, to to fit so that needs screwing and plugging ready for adhesive to wall but I've actually run out of boards now so I'm gonna have to nip back to B&Q and get a couple more I think another three maybe four will uh, be enough to finish this off obviously I've got to go all the way around the window as well which I've got a piece there I have got quite a few little scraps and what have you so I might end up having to just like patch some together because I know uh, if another two boards will do floor to ceiling at this end but they're only going to come to about here so I might have to just that little last strip I might have to just patch up with a couple of you know like three of these ones but it, it'll be fine uh, but yeah that's where we are at the minute so I'm going to go get another, some more of these boards Right, that's all these cut and fitted. Well, I said fitted, they're just screwed on temporarily at the minute. What I need to do now is mix some adhesive up. So I'm gonna take them all back off, put adhesive on, stick them all back on, like I did with them other ones. I'm not gonna record it, I'm just gonna bring it back when it's all done. 
uh, and then I can crack on with some tiling. Uh, I also realised that all my clothes are work clothes so I figured I'd treat myself to some actual work clothes. You'll have to let me know what you think. So yeah, I'll get all this done, I'll bring you back when it's tiling time. Right, so that's all the backboard, all adhesive done and everything. I've even painted the ceiling as well. So now, we're all set up for doing tiling. I'm going to start off with a tile in the middle of the tap and work outwards like that. And then obviously work up. So I'm going to have to do some cuts around this shelf and this bit of a step here. And I'll have to cut tiles down to fit each side. Uh, and also drill out foot taps and everything. Uh, yeah, so again, something I've never done before. So let's see how this turns out. So I've got the tile, this is cutting round for the tap. So I figured I'd, I'd come down and do it on my uh, drill press because I did try with my drill and it were a bit awkward trying to keep it still. So I'm going to get these cut and uh, then I can start actually fitting them. Right, this is where I've got up to so far. As you can see, cut out for the taps. Uh, I've also cut out these for the uh, shower. Um, I did, I, I had set a time lapse off, but I ended up having to stop my camera and I forgot to restart it again. So uh, I did run into a couple of issues uh, trying to keep them up off of the bath because uh, there's a bit of a, a lip that goes round there. The bath isn't like fully flush up. Uh, so I ended up getting some uh, some old uh, lollipop sticks and sellotaping them underneath. That's, that's what all this is. It's, I need to get that adhesive off now. But these are all dried now. It's the day after because it was getting a bit late. And cutting them on this is very noisy uh, so yeah that's where we're at at the minute I'm gonna carry on now and finish this full wall off Right, this is what I've got up to so far. Um, I started putting this side on so that when I come to putting this back on, I can kind of get all the the tile lines, you know, lined up as good as I can, uh, which it were a bit awkward, you know, figuring out where I needed to cut around there and how much tile to cut off of this side. So the, the tile that I've cut at this side should be the same at this side as well. But the window is like not central to this wall. So I, I've kind of, I've got a right little bit, that like a slither of a tile to cut for this side. But if I've worked it out right, then at this side, it should be a full tile up against this edge at window. So, like, I could have brought that further this way to have this side uh, in line with window, but then it would have made a little slither at this side, or if I'd middled it, then there'd be a tiny little bit of tile at each side at window, which, uh, you know, I, I've never done this before, so I'm, I'm kind of just going doing it as I go along kind of thing um, 
but yeah that's that's how it is at the minute i've also just put this bit of aluminium trim around here uh, now normally i think you just use the tile adhesive to stick them on but i've i've ended up screwing them down a little bit uh, i thought it'd make it easier rather than trying to balance it in the right place while i'm sticking tiles on so i've just screwed that down and i'm going to figure out now to put my tiles across bottom and across this side and then i'm going to tile this back here as well I've also I cut out for that as I was doing it and I've I've got that in place you can see the wire is coming out um, I've drilled all them holes so that's ready for actually fitting in once the grout is done uh, but yeah that's uh, that's what we're up to so far and I think it's looking pretty good up to now. Uh, I'm quite happy. It's not perfect by no means, but you know I'm I'm quite pleased for a first attempt. So I'm going to crack on now. Get this section done. finished that back wall off I did it off camera just wanted to get it done and I thought you've seen enough for me cutting and tiling so I just got that all chucked on now uh, this video is getting really long now so I'm going to call it the end of the video and in the next one I'm going to get this bathroom completely finished off uh, so I'm going to finish this wall tiling this wall off um, got the floor to tile and then I can fit the new sink, new toilet, all the little bits of trim and everything and get it 100% finished. Uh, I might start off by grouting this back wall and fitting shower as well. Uh, so it would be nice to be able to use a shower again. So yeah, if you enjoyed this or if you have any tips on tiling because it's it's not easy <laughs> it's really not I'm struggling a bit with it it's i'm not going to lie i'm not really enjoying doing this tiling uh so any tips on it just stick them in in comments down below uh but yeah if if you're enjoying it so far consider subscribing and i'll see you in the next one cheers <laughs>